everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Karibu Fine Art and I'm Priya, the artist behind KaribuFineArt.com. Today we are going to uh, check out all the colored pencil supplies I have got to create something like this which uh, we saw last week. Uh, this is the Indian bison I created using colored pencils last week and before that we have created a hummingbird. So uh, please check out the tutorials for that and we are going to see a lot more tutorials using colored pencils in future. So let's go through step by step what I use first, second, third, like like systematically. So the first thing what I use is the reference pictures which I download from pixabay.com, wildlife reference uh, photos.com and from the collection, my brother's collection. So he is a really good wildlife photographer. So I use his photos as, as well to get my, um, get inspiration from them. So once I block in uh, the exact, um, reference picture I'm going to use, then I use uh, tracing paper. This is the tracing paper which I use and the brand is Canson tracing paper. Uh, it's A3 size and you get 40 sheets in this book booklet. So I have been using it since forever so it lasts for a really long time. So what I do is I put this tracing paper on the image, I trace the image roughly and then I transfer this image on my Fabriano Artistico hot pressed watercolor paper 140 pounds uh, so I get this from Dean's Art uh, from Melbourne City uh, Dean's Art store you should be able to find it online I'll put the link in the description below uh, where you can find it online right on Amazon or dickplick.com or any other website so you can go and buy it from there but I have found it in uh, in US you can get it at most of the um, art supply stores and also in Melbourne city I found it in Dean's art store so you should be able to get it everywhere I guess even um, you should be able to get it in uh, uh, US and Australia anywhere most probably let me know if you don't find it so this is the best paper I have got and I have been using it from last two years it's called Fabriano Artistico hot pressed extra white 140 pounds watercolor paper so um, this is the best paper I think is because this is pretty thick and it takes a lot more layers like for example this colored pencil tutorial you saw last week uh, it could have taken at least 5 to 10 more, uh, more layers but I am so lazy and I was so tired of it that I didn't put on more layers and I was just happy with whatever results I got but it could have taken definitely 5 to 10 extra layers because of the quality of paper. I have used like really uh, different papers than this one and I haven't uh, had similar results so I would uh, definitely recommend this paper for you to use. It gives good results so why not. So uh, I put this paper, I stick it on the boards. Uh, so two boards I have got uh, are these. So this is this board is pretty small. It must be one feet by one and a half uh, feet, one foot by one and a half feet. And the another board I have got is a little bit bigger. It might be two and a half by two or something like that. This is a pretty big board as you can see. Uh, this Fabriano Artistico paper, I stick it uh, on the edges using the tape. And once I stick it there, then I use this uh, tracing paper. I put the tracing paper on the that stick, on the uh, my Fabriano Artistico uh, watercolor paper, and then I use this carbon paper to trace the image. So we'll have a video, uh, detailed video, the uh, showing demonstrating how I do it. But I'm just giving you an idea how I use the supply. So you need the carbon paper as well. So there is this uh, tracing paper, then the carbon paper and then below that we, uh, will be your uh, actual paper on which your artwork is going to um, be on. So we'll just see the, that video in future videos. The next supply I use is the actual colored pencils and the brands I use. So the colored pencil brands I use is this uh, Faber-Castell Polychromos. Uh, set of 120. I have got this from Amazon.com. Uh, I got it shipped from US for me because it's extremely expensive in Australia. So that's why I got it shipped from uh, US. Um, all the price and all the details I'll put in the description below. It is not a very cheap brand uh, but um, it is worth the price because it can uh, give you really nice results. It's, it's oil-based pencils. Uh, so you can use paint thinner and normal oil paint brushes, soft brushes 
to uh, blend all the layers together so which you have seen in my videos what I do so this these are really good set of pencils to have um, and it almost has all the shades or if it doesn't have you can create different kinds of shades by mixing uh, a number of colors together so this is my most favorite color pencil brand after this uh, I have got this Karen de Ash Luminance luminous color pencils uh, I have 76 of these in color and these are actually really good uh, these are waxed based pencils so these go really well on top of the layers I have put using the Faber Castell polychromos so I really like these uh, and these are 76 in um, number and the, these are really light fast and uh, uh, they work amazing for the um, really really uh, opaque layers so Fabriano artistic uh, Sorry, the Faber Castor ones are very good for um, the translucent, transparent layers and these are really good for the opaque layers. Uh, some of the uh, light uh, colors uh, like uh, grey shades and purple shades are just simply amazing from this set. Um, the third pencil set I have which is actually one of my really favorite ones again because they are very cheap in uh, price and they have been working really well for me especially for the backgrounds because they are really cheap in price I just use them most of the times for the backgrounds and uh, people have complained about like different artists have complained about the quality control issues and the, the lead breaks and all that kind of stuff when you sharpen them a lot but Really, frankly speaking, I haven't come across such issues so far and I really, really like them. Um, so I have got a set of, uh, I guess even these are 120 or maybe a little bit more. I don't remember how many of them I got initially in the pack, but I have got the highest number of it. And I think they are definitely maybe 135 or something, some number like that. And they, they work really, really amazing for me. And I have this um, storage box to store them so I use this uh, box I got this box uh, from one of the just stationery stores uh, this brand is Montmartre and I got it for like something around $25 uh, Australian dollars which was pretty good deal for me so they work really good for me these are also wax based pencils and they go really well on top of the Faber, uh, Faber Castell Polychromos pencil layers so I really like them and uh, I think and these were my first colored pencils when I started with the colored pencil drawings uh, two and a half years back. I started with these pencils and I really really love them and they work really well for me. The blending, the layering, everything works just perfect. The next thing is this Derwent um, electric, not electric, this is Derwent battery operated uh, sharpener which I use and which I really like. People have complaints about these as well, this one as well, but I don't know, I really find it useful and it works out really well for the set of pencils I have got. I think it doesn't work really well for the, um, for the pastel pencils, but for my pencils, oil based and wax based pencils, it has been working great for me and I, I love it, like it's my number one um, sharpener uh, in my supply. Uh, then after that two really important uh, erasers I use is this Mono uh, Tombow Zero Elastomy, Elastomer Eraser uh, which is like, like you know like the pencils we have lead pencils mechanical pencils it's like mechanical eraser and you get like extra eraser strings like this so th this is really good I got this one from Amazon as well I'm shipped from US um, this is pretty amazing. I'll put the link uh, where you can find this one uh, in the description below. You can go and check it out. And the next eraser is this is just Derwent Academy eraser which works out very well for me. I love it. So this is the uh, another eraser which I use to uh, erase uh, like bigger areas and this one is for fine detailing. The thing is I'm not a very eraser kind of person. Some artists just create amazing amazing work using just erasers. I think I use my erasers like not at all only when I have to correct something actually I don't I should use them to put together some nice artwork for the highlights and all that stuff but I tend not to use it tend to not use it that often yeah but this is this works really well for me so even if I have blended some of the layers with the paint thinner it still works out really well for me the next supply is uh, I have is just this uh, normal 
mechanical pencil which I use. It's a clear point elite brand. I don't know. Yeah, it's some any random brand pencil you can buy and it should work well for you. It's 0.5 mm uh, mechanical pencil. This when I use it is for uh, tracing um, and transferring the uh, drawing onto my paper. For that I use this one. After that the next uh, pencils I use are these uh, art pencils. It's called Derwent Drawing Chinese White 7200 pencil. This is a must to have pencil when it comes to uh, colored pencil uh, drawing. This is a really really good pencil. Uh, this one I asked Dean's Art Store uh, to order it for me. Uh, six of them together because I use them a lot and I love this pencil. So the black pencil, my favorite black pencil is from the Faber Castell Polychromos set and my favorite white pencil is from this Derwin Drawing Chinese White Pencils. The next supply is I use these brushes to blend my colored pencil layers together using paint thinner. I store my paint thinner is in this uh, container. So it's very tight and it's very good because uh, then it doesn't leak. The uh, thinner doesn't leak uh, that much uh, because the thing is very tight. The container is very tight. And then I use these... Um, Three or I have like three more bigger sizes, uh, really soft filbert brushes which I use to blend uh, all my layers together and then after it completely dries then I can put more layers of colors pe colored pencils on it. So um, it's a really nice technique which I learned from Lisa uh, from Lacry Fine Art. She is really good. So I have learned most of my colored pencil techniques from her. I didn't even know that an art, uh, one could create such an amazing work using just colored pencils. So she is the inspiration behind whatever color pencil artwork I am producing. So these are the brushes uh, I have been using. And uh, I use this brand of odorless solvent. So this is Artist's Oil Painting uh, Art Spectrum Odorless Solvent. So you get this for a pretty cheap price. It's around ten dollars uh, AUD. So even this one I got from Dean's Art. This is over now. It's finished. I have got a new one. So yeah. So I think that's the last colored pencil supply I had for you guys. So we are almost done. I was so lost into describing all of these that I didn't even realize that we have come to an end of this uh, tutorial to, uh, for today. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you have any kind of questions or any kind of feedback regarding my videos and uh, I'll see you again on next Thursday uh, with uh, uh, one more really interesting video about how I create my uh, stenciled background using Liquitex, uh, Liquitex spray paints and my stencils which I ordered through amazon.com so guys please um, subscribe to my channel it's absolutely for free you don't uh, you just have to click on that button you see that that uh, rainbow loricate in the right uh, corner down yeah just click on that to subscribe and that's it you're subscribed to my channel so you don't miss out on any of my updated videos and so many techniques and um, uh, tools we are going to um, learn how to use them and uh, like my videos and share it with all your friends and i'll see you again on next thursday bye bye